A long time ago, in a country very far away called Russia, there were two best friends that went into space together. Their names were Belka and Strelka. When they came back, Belka married a brave German shepherd named Kazba. They had a little puppy called Pushak. Pushak wanted to be a space dog like his mom and dad, but first he was picked to go on an exciting adventure to America. Now, Pushak, have you remembered everything? Mom, you don't have to worry. This isn't the first time I've been away from home. Yes, Belka, Pushak is a big boy. I know, Kazbek, but I'm gonna miss my little baby so Mom, much. I can't breathe. Time to go, son. Your mom and I are both very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. And when I get back, I'll start training to be a space dog, right? Absolutely not. Being a space dog is far too dangerous. That's why your Aunt Strelka and I are going back into show business with your we'll Uncle Lenny. We'll talk about it when you get back. Have a good time, kiddo. Mm -hmm. Bye, Aunt Strelka! Bye, kid! Don't take so any wooden nickels! Tell the Americans nothing! Bye, son. Be safe, darling. We love you. I'm gonna miss him so... He'll be fine. He's a great kid. Takes after his aunt. Okay, ladies. Time to hit the road. Fame and fortune away. So we'll see you in two months, big guy. Have a good time, my little star. Break a leg. Well, you not really. You know what I mean. All right, let's get this party started. Hit the tunes, Porky. Please, baby, say to me all the things that set me free. I'm gonna miss them. Yeah, things will be pretty dull here without them. Or not? It looks like that beam came from the moon. We better get back to base. Come on. Comrade Keisha, huh? are we still receiving that strange signal sent from the surface of the moon? It's very weak, but we still are. And we still don't know the language? It's in no language that we recognize. Then it's up to Kazbek to find out what's up there. Mission Control, this is Commander Kazbek. The end systems check. Thruster Control is good. Booster set to standby. Signal tracking is online and Roger, good to Commander. go. We have your flight path set to put you as close to the green beam Roger as possible. Control. Once I make moon landing, I will attempt to make contact with the moon rover. Tell the brass in Moscow if the Americans are behind this. I'll find out about it. Roger, Commander. Commencing launch sequence now. Engines are go for burn. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Rockets to full. We have liftoff. I have cleared the launch tower. Roger, Kozbeck. You are go for the moon. First stage separation is good. Prepare second stage separation. Second stage confirmed. Next up, the moon. Oh, it's a pretty small house tonight, don't you think? Small, small, any smaller and it would undergo gravitational collapse. Oh, how I long for the long ago days when crowds lined up for blocks to see the famous first dogs in space perform family-friendly entertainment at a reasonable Wasn't price. Wasn't that like a month ago? <laughs> Show business is a fickle calling, my friend. Are the girls ready? Good to go, boss. Then, in the famous words of Vladimir Ilyanov, hmm? the show must go on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, pets, animals, and vermin of all kinds, you are about to experience in this humble venue the absolute towering pinnacle of theatrical stagecraft. For well, tonight, I bring you two stars that have journeyed through the heavens themselves and return to bring you the musical tale of their heroic adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Belka and Strelka.
all the fireworks? Um, I wasn't supposed to. Rockets through space was too dangerous, you said. Yes, I am aware of the irony in this situation. No, well, that never happened in rehearsal. I always wondered why you insisted we wear parachutes under our costumes. I've worked with Lenny before. Everybody, this is Pushok. Pushok's parents are famous Russian space dogs. Isn't that exciting? Pushok, do you want to play frisbee? I'll go get one. Mm. Hi. Huh? Um, it's nice to meet you. Let's get something straight. I'm the big dog around here. Oui. You are? I, I thought you were a cat. I am a cat, you brainless bunny. I thought I was a rabbit. Pushok, where are you, Pushok? Oh, Pushok? it's Caroline. I gotta go. I'll come back later, fellas, and we can play some Who more. Who was that? That uh, uh, is trouble. Things were fine before Pooshock showed up. And as far as I'm concerned, four pets in the White House is one too many. Right? Right. Do you mean me? Good boy, good boy, Pooshock. When my dad gets back, I bet he'll come uh, play with us. Just look at him out there, shamelessly frolicking. That flea bag has no dignity. It makes me so angry as a freeze. He's going out of my do. I must call my stylist. Oh, Pushok, I wish you could stay with us forever. She'll get tired of us and we'll all be sold for medical experiments. Run for your lives! He has a point. Pushok is clearly becoming Caroline's favorite pet. We must get rid of him. Mission Control, this is Kazbek. I am on final approach to lunar landing. Everything looks good for landing, Commander. You are go for Moonfall. Landing thrusters engaged. Landing gear deployed. 10 meters, 8 meters, 5 meters, 3 meters, 2, 1, contact. Control, I am down and safe. I'm moving over to the boat track six plant. Commander Kosbeck, we are losing your transmission. Please come in. Commander? Commander Kosbeck, can you hear us? Commander! I think our friend Kazbek has found the source of the beam. Mission Control, I do not know if you are receiving me, but I am in the rover and moving out onto the surface. I am proceeding to the primary target area.
General, I want a full update about this moon ray immediately. The CIA is prepared to brief you on the situation in the Situation Room. Sir, we do think the Russian space agency... Wait, the president is back! Caroline will be so excited to see her father! Oh boy! She said she wanted him to play with us when he got home. But maybe he's too tired after his trip. Maybe he has to go to the bathroom? I sure do. <sighs> That's better. Hey, I know. I'll go ask him if he wants to play with us. Pooshock, where are you? The master has returned. I better allow him to pamper me, or his date will not be complete. Make way for the president's favorite <gasps> pussycat. Meow. We've only picked up garbled signals, sir. But it appears the Russians huh? are definitely involved. Did he say Russians? Oh no, Russians! Did you hear that? Russians! <laughs> We're totally doomed! They went right to the Situation Room. Oh no, do you think it's a situation? Of course it's a situation. That's the room they have situations in. Okay, is that bad? Yes, of course it is. In that room right now, decisions are being made that will affect the fate of people, animals, countries, the entire course of history. <laughs> Why? We could be poised on the very brink of war. Oh no, war. You know what happens during wars, don't you? People eat rabbits. <laughs> they make them into stews, coats, and hats, and even socks. I don't want to be anybody's socks. People always lose the left one. <laughs> war, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Look, it's a Russian. The Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. 47 brothers and sisters not in first to go. Hey there. <laughs> Save me. What's up, guys? <laughs> 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 Have you guys seen the president around? I saw him come in. Caroline wants to see if he can play with us. Huh? Why? Hey, he's in there! I'll get him! <laughs> come back! <laughs> what is going on in there? Stop it! It's awful! It's unspeakable! Get him away from Boo Shock has made a fool of himself in front of the president! Him, he's uh, taking Jackie's vase. It's a security man. Call the army. Call the navy. Call a dog catcher. I'll need your license, sir. Can we talk this over, officer? You parked on my car. It wasn't marked. No parking. How is your partner anyway? I, I'm really so very huh? sorry about this whole. What the? Uh, I'll take the ticket. Well, I don't think we'll be giving a repeat performance in that club. I'm beginning to think letting you talk me into show business was a bad idea. Me too. Where'd Lenny go? I think he's telling Pig we're broke. Piggy, my boy, it's time to face a very unpleasant truth. Despite all my hard work, those apples you are eating represent the total remaining hard assets of this production company. But we must not be downhearted. We are thespians, and the show must go on. All we need is one lucky break, one shining piece of good fortune to turn our luck around and get us back on our feet. <gasps> That's it. In yonder fountain is the glimmer of gold we need to rebuild our fortunes. Or at least buy me a train to get out of this dumpy town. Um... <laughs> Ugh, this water is cold. You no, know, you could help. I'll split the profits with you right down the middle. Huh? 90 10. Um... I tell you, Piggy, my lad, stick with me. Fame and fortune will soon be ours. Well, mostly mine, but <laughs> I am the brains of the operation. It's like my grand rodent used to say. He said, Lenny, you'll never truly be a rep until you go into show business. My watch. Where's my watch? Was anyone watching my watch to see where it went? You didn't need it, did you? Belka! Strelka! Call the police! Unearth the National Guard! Someone has stolen my watch. It was a gift from my grandpa. But you stole that. Eh, only to remember him by. But that's completely beside the point. What are we going to do? Well, we can help you look for it. A phone. That's it. I'll call the police. The police love it when rats call them. That rat is one weird cat. Lenny means well. I've worked with him for years. That's nice. But I've worked with him for three months, and I'm beginning to forget what food tastes like. Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Is this the police? I want to report a robbery, a grand theft, the crime of the century. Put out an APB, ASAP. All I hear is squeaking. Is this a joke? Squeaking? 
I'll have you know I am a handsome male rodent with a pleasant baritone. Bunch of clean your ears out with a plunger. Hey, looks like I hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, how I missed you, my golden darling. Oh, no, you can't get away. Wait here, my shiny lovelies, while I collect our little lost lamb. Gotcha. Huh? My money? Don't worry, babies. Daddy's coming! I gotcha. I gotcha. But who's got me? Lenny sure is taking his time. Hmm? Hey, didn't there used to be a phone booth here? I think something fishy's going on. Maybe he made a collect call. <sighs> Huh? What? Oh no, where's my bag? It just disappeared, vanished, gone. Oh no, no, what was in it? Just every bone I ever saved. Huh? Belka! Stalka! Where'd you go? Where am I going? This is not good. I'm afraid of heights. No, I'm higher! Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? I need help! Hello? I am in the process of being abducted! Would you like to make a call? Please check the number and dial again. I don't think you appreciate the gravity of my situation. Come to think of it, I never appreciated gravity. I need help! Lenny! No Lenny's here. Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Lenny! I can't believe he's gone. I thought a bad penny like Lenny would always turn up. Keep your eyes open. Our sources say they were performing somewhere around here. Remember, Stroka, it's always dark except for the dog. Yeah, that's because of the lack of sun at night. Over there, is that them? Yes, that's them! Stop the car. No, don't stop. It looks suspicious. Go, go! Now turn around. Very casually. Yes, we got them. What? Halt! In the name of the National Space what? Agency. Keisha? So, I have found you at last. You were looking for us? This is official business. Huh? Nice doggies. Good doggies. Belka, they have crazy eyes. Are you space dog Belka, also known as Bella Romanov? Also known as Bella the Magnificent? Uh, those are my stage names. You know that. And you are her friend Strelka. Oh, Keisha, it's so good to see you again. You can help us find Lenny. Hey, put them in the car. Hey, quick What's pushing. going on? We have much to discuss on the way, my former comrades. Former? Huh? Former? Uh-oh. Someone save um, me! Save us? Yeah, right, us. Save us. Well, mostly me. Mr. President, we are currently flying over New York and expect to be at the Cape in three hours. Thank you, Colonel. Oh, Pushok, look, it's the Statue of Liberty. I'm so glad Father said we could come to the moon rocket launch. Ugh. Is it possible to get seasick in an helicopter? <clears throat> Why are you so clumsy? Why are you so fat, eh? Tell me that. Yeah. Fat? I'm not fat. I have an unfortunate glandular condition. And I expect that explains the smell. Can I help it if airline food disagrees with me? Mm -hmm. Just be grateful I didn't have a third burrito. Just look at that. Pusak rides in the lap of luxury while we're stuck in here. Ew. <laughs> uh, why did we even come on this trip? Because of him. Get back here, you I'm convinced dog. the situation with the Russians will give me the opportunity to deal with that pesky flea bag. Really? We talked about this with these ears. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you listen? Oh, oh. I don't know yet, but I'll think of something. <laughs> Personnel, we are 16 hours from rocket launch. All visitors are reminded of security protocols and asked to stay in designated areas. The president and his staff have arrived and are ready for pre-launch briefing. Thank you. Uh, I get nauseous when traveling. And gas. I have an irritable bowel. More like horror bowel. I want to sit by the window. No! Cool shock. We're supposed to stay with Dad. Wow! Look at all this. This is great. Come on. We're going to be late. <laughs> I've never seen so many spaceships in one place before. Huh? Wow. Oh, boy. Hey, not that way. Hi. 
Ugh. Hey! Let us go, my dear. Huh? You don't want to get fleas. Pushok? Fleas? What's wrong with a few? <sighs> That's it! The moon rocket! Cool! Our plan is basically to land on the lunar surface, and then Captain Chip will locate the Russian secret weapon using the new moon buggy. Uh, I see, and uh, how confident are we that Chip can actually find the moon? He uh, frankly seems a few minutes. There you are! Far. This is exciting! Well, sir, Isn't this exciting? Tonight, I suppose it would be if one was not from Bali. I am French. Couldn't guess. You fellas really are geniuses. I'm Pushak. What brings you to the coolest place on Earth? And where are you from, Mr. Pushak? From the White House. Poof! I live in a house with many colors. I'm originally from Moscow, but I'm staying with the president's family. My mom and dad are space dogs. They're both real famous. My mother is a lingerie model for people who dress their pets inappropriately. My father is on the moon right now. My father is also a lingerie model. That's weird. We're French. <coughs> We're out. I'm gonna take a look around this place. Do you want to come check it out with me? Mm, oui, why not? Great! I now have a plan to send that dog one way to the moon. You're even more diabolical than I thought. I like that. Space Center visitors are welcome to visit the tourist center. <laughs> I've got you now, Pusha. Hey, what's is that? Is this how they train the space dogs, you think? Oh, let's try it. <laughs> Come on, follow me. This is fun. You think it's safe? Sure, how hard can it be? It's all about confidence. Being a space dog must take lots of training. It does. <sighs> but I've been practicing. Come with me. Just try to keep me away. Uh, I hate puppy love. What is this thing? Uh, it's a flight uh, simulator. I've been in one uh, lots of times. Uh, uh. Power up, engines on, and away we go. I always knew I could be a space dog. Oh, Pushok, you look so dashing. You are a natural. Hmm, what do we have here? Well, Stan, here's another fine mess you've gotten us into. Hey, I told you to hit the green button and you hit the red button. What do I know from buttons? I'm a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, anyone who gets in a rocket with that crazy chip probably ain't ever coming back. Really? Hey, can you reach the call button? This is the longest I've ever gone without scratching. <laughs> <laughs> so, it seems the moon rocket could use a new backup crew. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? Huh? Ah! Oh, dear. I could help my dad if I had the chance. I don't know, Pushok. It seems to me flying a real rocket would be much harder and very dangerous. Of course it is, but that won't stop him. Pushok has a date with destiny. Can you keep a secret? I happen to know that the president has just announced a new backup pilot for tomorrow's rescue flight, and it's gonna be... Hold on a second. <clears throat> it's Pushok. Ooh, how wonderful. Huh? Did you hear what this strange cat said? Mm. You have been chosen for the mission. Shh. You can now go and help find your mm. father. I have? But how did that happen? I personally explained to the president how much you wanted to go save your father, and he agreed. Oh? Wow, that's great! Yes, of course he did, but keep it to yourself. It's all very top secret. Shh. Oh, okay. Sure. Lenny, old boy, you gotta stay calm. You've been in worse situations than this before. Well... Sort of. At least I'm still alive. Time for action. Every great rat needs to admit when he needs some assistance. This is Operator Assistant. Operator, hello. I need to make a rat-to-dog call to either Strelka or Belka. Tell them it's their old buddy Lenny and I need a lift home. Would that be a long-distance call, sir? Huh? Uh, very long distance. I need help! I'm on the moon! I've been stolen by aliens or moonmen or something! They even took my watch! I need help, I wanna go home. Or anywhere, anywhere but here! That call cannot be completed at this time. What? Okay, thanks, operator. I'll try again after I just faint from sheer terror. Thank you for using the phone company. You're welcome. Velka, Strelka. 
You've been brought to me to volunteer for a very dangerous mission. Are you asking us or telling us? Your precious Kazbek went to the moon on a top secret assignment. Then we lost contact. What? What's happened to him? We think he was captured by Americans from their secret base on the moon. Or perhaps he's working with them. Mm, do you consider that a possibility? Kazbek? He's as loyal as it comes. You think so, do you? Kazbek has hijacked the moon rover. But why would he do that? Don't play dumb with us. She's not playing. She really is dumb. Let us try another approach. Sign here. Why? I just want your autograph. Be careful now. This is okay, a ready. very big bomb. Go ahead. Uh -oh. You're swinging it a little bit. Uh -oh. Rufus can't get good turtles anymore. Ladies, let us come to an arrangement. Simply consent as two good patriots to transport an explosive to the surface of the moon and to show our thanks, we could put you back in the spotlight. Once a star, always a star. No? How about a new European tour? Perhaps even America? Can we talk it over with our agent? Uh. Hello. Did someone up there order 12 anchovy pizzas? Is that the pizza I ordered? I have low blood sugar. You two ladies should consider helping us. If you do not, things may become difficult for you. He sure I'll go pay for the pizzas. You look after these two, hmm? Thanks a lot. She's not playing. She's really dumb. What do you want? I, I was protecting you. Oh, whatever. Please don't try any business that is funny. I was told to keep an eye on you two. What lovely eyes they are. You have movie star eyes. Really? And screen presence. Well, I did sit by the back screen door all the time when I wanted to go outside. Let me hear you bark. You know how to bark, don't you? Just let it go. From the diaphragm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first you must find your motivation, like a real actor. What gets you mad? Ooh, being disrespected. It's hard being small in a dog-eat-dog -dog world, you know? I completely uh, understand. You really like uh, my eyes? Ah, I've gone blind! My beautiful eyes are useless! Oh, and there's gum in my hair. I think I'm being disrespected! Guards, guards! This is definitely funny business. You were specifically told not to be... <laughs> what now? Uh, I don't know. I thought you had a plan. <laughs> this would go faster if I had a shovel. Just keep digging. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well done, men. This tunnel will come in handy tomorrow. <laughs> the moon looks so close. I can hardly wait for tomorrow. I'll find my dad and bring him home. I just know it. Pushok, you are very brave. Mwah. <gasps> but isn't it dark and scary up there? I heard about the dark side of the moon. Someone named Pink Floyd talks about it a lot. Uh, my mom told me it's important not to look down, and one should also take gravity and some air with them. Hey! Wait, no matter what you weigh. From here? It is so very beautiful. It's not the only thing. Oh, I bet you say that to all the poodles. No, really, I mean it. Oh, how sweet. Oh, look at them, it's so Be quiet. romantic. This is a covert operation. What is in your hmm. romance? It's a rabbit thing. Will you give me a sign when you are on the moon, Pushok? I will if you wave to me from here. Almost like you and I were, you know, kind of like boyfriend and girlfriend. We. Oui. I think they're looking for us. You think? Let's go. <laughs> Load the bomb carefully. It's the only one we have. I keep asking for more bombs, but you know, the budget cutbacks. We must destroy whatever force is up there. It is unimaginably powerful. Whatever it is, we cannot allow the Americans to possess it. Right, sir. This bomb must launch with the rocket, understand? Uh-huh. No, they can't. What's that? There is someone behind that vent. Keisha, go and see who it is and kindly be quick about it. Yes, sir. Hey, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is it? Found them. I need to lay down for a... Oh. Ah! Oh! Oh! Uh, this way, in here! Oh, sure. Now you've got a plan. Oh, 
Okay, I've had all the fun I can stand for one evening. Ready to go home? How does that sound? Ugh. I'm personally in love with the idea. Strelka, you know we can't go home yet. We need to help Kaz back. What? Did I hear you right? Is this on? You heard them. He's in danger. There's plenty of danger to go around. Look around us. Everyone is trying to kill us. But Kazbek's in trouble. I guess I'll handle this myself. Mm. Don't you hate always being right? There they are! <gasps> Don't just stand there. Go get them. Here we Attack. go again. Mush! Andale! Follow me. I'll get them. Come back here, you. <laughs> the rocket looks even bigger today. <sighs> if only Fifi could see this. All systems are go. Start preparations for the What are you launch. waiting for? Nothing. It's just that I didn't get to say goodbye. Say it now. Goodbye. See? Easy. Goodbye. Au revoir. Remember, your father is counting on you. You don't want to let him down, do you? Let's go. I'm stuck. Whatever you do, don't jump on me. Ow! My irritable bowel! Oh, what now? Keep asking me. The trap! You got him, boys. Oh, no, you don't. I got you, Bowser. Ah. Get off of me. You're getting away. All aboard. Straka, what are you doing? Improvising. Get them! They're escaping! Uh -oh. We've got you surrounded! Oh. Whoops! Oh. Ah. 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 Look out! Ah. Okay, this is not what I had in mind. Oh, fuck. Okay. I gotcha. Glad you could drop in. Train's early. <sighs> that way! They're headed for the launch pad! That's the rocket up ahead! I can't stop! Got to get on that rocket. Lift really? Kazbek needs help. Eight, okay. Seven, Here we go six, again. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off. I did it. I convinced them to take the mission. <sighs> Why did you not tell me immediately? Well, I. Uh, Wanted to surprise you. Are you surprised? Well done, Keisha. Perhaps I misjudged you. Of course, this mission must be kept totally secret. And you will make sure of that. Sir! Come on, Paul! We made it. There it is, Pushok. Mm -hmm. The entrance to the rocket. That? But why don't we just use the capsule's main hatch? Um, yes. Uh, special security measures. This is a top secret mission. Today, Earth will be a safer place. I salute you. Hurry, it's nearly launch time. That's it, in you go. All right, I'm in. What do I do uh, now? Follow the pipes into the rocket, go to the moon and help your father. You need to hurry. Right. Go. Ah, uh, he's even sillier than I thought. Poodle, see that he gets into the rocket and goes. I am a presidential pop. I don't do pipes. You do it. It's a matter hey, of fitness. What? You no. fit, I don't. Oh. Round peg, square hole, understand? But I'm with you hey, in spirit. What? Hurry, get this fuel pipe connected. Right away, sir. <clears throat> Air compression at 50%. Begin fueling procedure. Fueling in process. Tank is at 50%. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed to seal the fuel tanks. <laughs> I'm 
must be an idiot to listen to that cat. That cat will pay dearly for this. I'm getting out of here. Every poodle for himself. Right behind. Five minutes to lift off. Astronaut is boarding the rocket. Good luck to our nation's finest, Captain Chip Armstrong. <laughs> American Ninja! <laughs> I appreciate the appreciation. Glad to meet my soon-to-be memento by public. This one's for the ladies. Oh, yeah, thank you. Hey, take this, you come to wish me luck. Out of my way! You're about to become a celebrity space hero. When you get back, it's gonna be fame, fortune, and product endorsifying. The whole enchilada. You know, this food isn't bad. Near-death experiences give me an appetite. So the plan is we find Kaz back and take him back to Earth, right? Should be simple enough from here. Huh? Is that another rocket? What? Hmm. Looks like the Americans want to start a space race. They must be after Kaz back too. You know, being a national hero makes you get philosophical like. Why are we here? Where do we belong? What is the purpose of it all? Why is there a dog floating around my cockpit? I'm Pusha. Nice for you. Here's the exit. Please leave. <laughs> I'd hold my breath and aim for Earth if I was you. <laughs> I don't think you understand what it is I'm doing here. I'm your backup, your partner, your number two. Go outside if you gotta go number two now. Wait, my partner? I'm a hero a solo, compadre. Well, not anymore, because here I am. Do you know the first thing about space travel? You need a rocket. <laughs> but that was the easy one. Look, there's only one decider on this mission, and that's me. <laughs> Get it? Got it. That's good. Now make me lunch. Captain Chip, look there. Well, would you look at that? Someone trying to horn in on my heroic solo mission. <laughs> well, no one's going to make a monkey out of Mrs. Simeon's boy, Chip. Got to lose him. What do I do, Captain? Just do what I say and say what I do. Wait a minute. Don't do that. That would get annoying. Just pressify that pedal. Got it. Whoa! Hey, are those bananas? Ew! Hmm. Don't they know bananas are dangerous? Someone could slip on a Stop peel. Stop playing. We have to find Kazbek before anyone else does. You're right. It's all up to us. Okay, let's light this candle. Huh? 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 Yeah, I'm gonna be famous and rich and ha! Huh, ah! Can't let them get to the moon first. Then I guess you better stop driving like an old lady, partner. I love my dog. Oh, should have worn that seatbelt. Huh? Oh no, big rock, big rock. Don't worry, little space buddy. I got this doggy roped and tied. Yeehaw! That hit better not scratch the plane. Uh, 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 this is not good. <sighs> You did it! We made it! Next stop, the moon. Hmm. 
nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the sorrow. <sighs> well, at least things can't get any worse. I knew it was a mistake the moment I said that. Yeah. Hey, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe I can hitch a ride. Hey, hey, fellas, little help? Going my way? Go, brother, a solid? Hey, 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 careful up there. Hello, your number cannot be reached as dial. Honey, tell me something I don't know. Just when you think your day is as bad as possible, aliens. Hey, what's that? Could it be? It is! My watch! My precious watch! This is great! Things are looking up! I'm coming, baby! Now that's what I call huh, a land. Grab your gear, little space doggy. I'm gonna take a look around. One small step for a monkey. Uh, hey, check it out. Uh, I'm moonwalking. Uh, I declare this moon a planet of the apes. Monkeys of the earth unite. I know you ain't a monkey, but you can join me. Yeah, I'm coming. Just a minute. Uh, still gotta get my space legs. Take your time, kid. <laughs> These are for the ladies. Check out the moon, girl. <laughs> Look at the view. Smell that air. There's no air in space, remember? Of course I remember, little space buddy. I was just testing. OK, I want you to stay here and guard the ship. I have heroin to do. Yes, sir. What's that? She's my baby Gigi. Not biological, of course. Gigi, meet my sidekick, Pushok. Pushok, meet Gigi. She's very delicate, like a flower that can shoot you. Okay, we are off. Uh, okay. I expect dinner upon my return. Like what, Captain Chip? Ah, surprise me. Maybe something with bananas. Yes, sir. Woo! We're on the moon. All right, now the thing to do is take things slow. Oh, oh, oh. OK, more careful than that. Elka, look. Aren't these the tracks from the moon rover? That means Kazbek must be this way. But Belka, it's not safe. We don't know what happened to Kazbek or if he's even, uh, uh, I mean, we need some sort of plan. If Kazbek is here, then he would find a way to survive. You know he would. Belka, be reasonable. He could be anywhere on the whole moon. We have no idea where to start looking for him. We can't just wander around. I know what my heart feels. Kazbek is this way, and I'm going to find him. OK, fine. Have it your way. I'll follow you to certain doom. But when we're both dead, I'm never speaking to you again. That sounds fair. If my mom and dad could only see me now. Well, before this bit with the bananas. When we first landed. In the news tonight, government officials still have no explanation for the mysterious green beam that has stolen many of the world's monuments. Those sources suggest Russian agents may be to blame. Now a word from our sponsor. Who's there? Perhaps the wind? But there's no wind in space. And for my big next trick, I'll make the moon rover vanish into thin air. But it should be right here. And yet it's not. This is why people don't go around following their hearts instead of maps. Hearts will get you lost on the moon. Oh, look a rock. We found a rock. You're not being helpful, Strelka. Um, hello? Is someone there? <sighs> Captain Chip, is it you? Captain? Hold it right there. Don't make a move. Pause up. Huh? But I have to move a little to raise my paws. I said don't move. I've been waiting for a chance to get the drop on you. 
Now where's that robot of yours and what are you doing on our moon? Nothing, I'm just looking for my dad. Looking for your father on the moon, huh? A likely story, turn around. Daddy? My son, it... is it really you? Pusha, but how? I'm a space dog now, Pop. I came to find you. My boy, my boy. Secret weapon, where are you? I can't destroy you if I can't find you. What I need is some sort of clue, no matter how small. Whoa! Howdy, ma'am! <laughs> She's a big girl, must be from Texas. Oh yeah, moon selfie! <laughs> Hello! Oh, this one's front page for sure. Oh! What is that? <laughs> Whoa! Oh! What is that? <laughs> hey, Tom! Get you down, DJ! Woo! Oh, hey! Uh, oh! Must be the rainy season. That alien's definitely around here somewhere. I've been tracking it since it grabbed my moon rover. Real live aliens? But what do you think they're doing here? Probably an invasion. That's the kind of thing aliens like to do. Is that an alien up there? That doesn't look alien. It... Hey, as a matter of fact, it... It looks like it's gonna land right on us! <laughs> Nice and slow. Be a little bit careful. There it is. My case. <gasps> That's the one. No question about it. You're right. Hello, Let's go. Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm driving on the moon with a laser on my name. Oh, Susanna, what is that? Hi. I'm a friend of three because I'm coming home a hero and you'll show up party for me. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Moon's a lot bigger than I thought. I'll tell you. Woo. Hey, I think I found something to blow up. Push this little switch here, that comes out, and then I spin this. Oh, yeah! Come on, Gigi! It's time for Pop Goes the Weasel. There it is. Time to make the moon safe for democracy. Oh, no! Casbeck might be in there! Hey, you! Stop that! Whoa! Drop the weapon, Hard dogs. What is there, a kennel up here? Oh! Okay, I'm willing to negotiate. You let my son go, and I'll take it easy. <laughs> Slayer, son. This is where he, uh, brings everything. What? <clears throat> My moon river's around here somewhere. What's it doing with all this stuff? Why is there even a monkey on the moon? That's, that, that's just bananas. You're barking up the wrong tree, dog. Besides, space dogs are so 1957. Watch what you say about dogs, monkey boy. Huh, are you too loco in La Cabeza? What have you done with Casbeck? <clears throat> Let go. What's a Casbeck? Uh-oh. What is that? Ugh. Whoa! This just got real, dog! Don't! Uh, uh, my back! Okay! Don't make me go all ape on you! Hey! You treat Gigi proper now. She's a lady and not insured. Take the back! Hey, where are we going? Put me down! Hey, watch it! You know who I am! There it is! The hands of time are just out of my reach! Okay, that's it! No more monkey business! We're gonna settle this Texas style! Mono a robo! Hey, take your stinking paws off, you darn dirty alien! Hey! This is no way to treat a spice hero! What are you doing? Cut it out! Hey! I'm getting busy! Whoa! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Monkey. Did you say you are a space hero? What? Uh, hello? Hi! Pleased to meet you. 
The name's Lenny, and I happen to be in need of a space hero. Hello? Cosmic? Are you in there? It's Belka! <gasps> Son? I was born ready. Kazbek, be careful. All I wanted to do was find my husband and get back home to Pushak. Why does everything have to be so difficult? Here. That's right, we have not yet begun to fight. Give us your best shot, you ten-plated alien menace. How do you like that? You want some more? No. Come on. No. It's nice we're finally getting to spend some father-son time together, huh? We got him right where we want him. We're going down! State the obvious much? Oh, uh, I'm so over the moon. Hey, do something! I am. I'm falling helplessly to my death. like it's pretty busted up. But, but that was my mission. I was sent to destroy this here rover, but that robot went and did it for me. How can I be a famous space hero with no mission? I don't know what to do now. Don't let it get you down. These things happen. After all, you're still the first monkey on the moon. I can still be rich and famous? Oh, absolutely. That is, if you have the right talent agent. Hurry up, Strelka. We have to help Casper. Just a second. What? Oh, Belka, I found Lenny's watch. Lenny's watch? Mm. Mm. How did that get up here? That must be why Lenny disappeared. He must have been grabbed by that robot thing, just like my suitcase. But then where is he? Oh, oh no. He's been gone for hours. And if he was brought up here without a spacesuit, then... Oh. Oh. Poor Lenny. Oh. Mm. Please come back, alien. My dad just needs to talk to you! Come on! Stop! Pushak? Wow, Belka. Your family sure gets around. Just stop! I promise nobody's going to hurt you! Oh, no! Don't worry! I'll save you! Oh, help! 
I know that was Pushok I saw. He must be nearby. What do you think? He ran away to the moon? That's a bit extreme. He's here, and we have you to find him. You just don't run into people on the moon. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. Caspic, are you okay? I'm so worried. So, honey, what are you doing here? What is Pushok doing here? Did he come with you? Uh, uh, I was just as surprised to see him here as I am to be seeing you here. Hey, Stroker. Hey, Kazbek. Anybody else here that I should know about besides you two and the green guy? Uh, there's a monkey and a big robot. Oh, and we located Glenny's watch, so he may be here somewhere. Can we have this conversation a little later? I'm trying to drive here. Where is my son? I think he's just up ahead. When we get back, we'll book you on television interviews, magazine covers, personal appearances. Can I mention I usually get 70%? Aha! Uh -huh. I see Lenny. He's with the monkey. Grab them. Got him. Hey, hey, is this a DeSoto? Nice ride. I can't believe it. Belka, Strelka, Kazbek. All my friends are here. Oh, I've missed you all so much. Yeah, Belka thought we'd find you here. Yes, Stroka found your watch. I knew you couldn't be too far. Oh, I could just jump for joy. Please don't. There's not a lot of headroom in here. So how did you end up here? I'm reaching out to the sky above, making wishes and dreaming of the day that I'll be with you again The comets and stars flying by me I wish that somehow they guide me I need some help, I really need a friend So please come Step away from that creature. Dad? Mom? Mom, you're here! Hushok, you're Mom. safe! My little boy. Our brave hero. Mom, Dad, he isn't dangerous. He's just a lost alien child trying to survive. Just wants to phone home, huh? A likely story. But wait, he saved me! He did? Ow! Oh, oh, hey, oh. Yeah, yeah, hold it closer. In the earth light. I know this may seem like an unhealthy obsession to you, but I don't care. I just feel so naked without it. Now we should all get back to the ships. We're bringing this lost alien back to Earth with us, right? That's not protocol. There's a strict policy against alien species traveling aboard Russian spaceships. But it's only a child, and no child should be left behind. Maybe we can pass him off as a lamp or a nightlight or something. Hey, I'll take him back home with me. We can do the talk shows. Wait, that won't work. He's an illegal alien. They just deport him. Hey, everyone, I figured it out. Huh? He was making a signal for his parents to find him. Genius. It's a giant SOS. But we need to make this a lot brighter to attract their attention. So we can get him home. You mean contact the aliens and hope they save the day rather than destroy the world? Kind of taking a risk. Not that I'm not all about risk taking. Let's do it. Send him a signal to see what happens. I got it. We can use the solar batteries on the moon rover to light this whole place up. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. <laughs> I should do it. Let's give this baby a try. Yeah!
What's wrong? Is there not enough power? <clears throat> the sun is going down. Without the solar panels, we don't have enough energy. Mm, we could try again tomorrow. We can't wait until tomorrow. We don't have enough oxygen to stay here till tomorrow. We gotta leave tonight. <laughs> we can't just leave him. Can't we do anything for the poor little guy? <sighs> yes, we can. It's now or never. <laughs> Careful, son. What's Pushak doing up there? He's gone space happy. No! Watch it, son. Get ready to try again, Dad. I see what he's doing. Try it now. Genius, partner! We have power. Come on. Come on. It's working! So, has there been any contact from the moon yet? Well, as yet, uh, no. Remember, this mission must be kept absolutely secret. Huh? Uh-oh. Nobody can ever know we were on the moon. <laughs> hmm? And nobody hmm. ever will. <laughs> oh, look! Up there, it's Pushok. He has done this. It's a sign he promised me. Is this someone you know, Miss Beepy? Yes, he is a famous space dog and my boyfriend. Long distance relationships never work. Oh yeah? As you can see, even the moon cannot keep us apart. Dad, do you honestly think this is going to work? I'm sure it will, son. I wish I could be sure. Being a real space dog is a much harder job than I thought it was. You've done fine. I'm very proud of you, Pushak. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. We're getting a little high up, don't you think? Everyone, follow me. Everybody, watch your step. Ah. Hey, this is fun. Ah. Woo! Check it out. Oh, my watch! Did you bring my watch? <laughs> don't worry, I still got it. Ah. reunions in one day kind of makes the whole trip worthwhile. Sure does. Watch the hands, monkey boy. Pop, mom, spirit nabdi. Hatta ailimi zerengi. Yes, well, it's still bulunmuş diyor. Bu şekilde sen mi sistem şey? Aa, pek o yine hazır olsun. Benim yerim şey. Of şu var, şarap çıkıp sumaya yıkma. Nah, tüli parta atar. Ailimi zerengi abası iş yer alayım. Abi, sınav o biz. Wow, I am honored. Look, he gave me a space bug. A watch? It's for me to replace my old one, and I accept. My precious. I wonder what it's worth on Earth money. Stay cool, green guy.
Boomstarts fault! Attention, Mr. and Miss America and all the ships at sea. Flash, this news just in. American and Russian authorities have just announced a peaceful resolution to the recent lunar crisis and promised to work together in a new spirit of international cooperation. Don't forget to write, Pusha. I won't, Mom. I'll come visit you guys real soon and I'll bring Fifi. Wait, who's Fifi? Fifi, huh? <laughs> My little guy's growing up. You can all come visit me in America, too. Just make sure to clear with my new agent, right, Lenny? Right. If you girls are sure you can handle going back to the stage without me. I'm sure we'll get by. We always do, partner. And we always will. Watch does. Hey! Well, easy now. Whoa! 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 This is great! The boldly go where no vermin has gone before! Yee-hoo!
And if you 